Hey friends, uh, it's Grace. I'm back on YouTube after 22 days. I just did the math. 22 days and I couldn't wait another day longer. I was traveling for a little bit. Um, I went to Panama, the country, uh, for a week. Then I went to Sedona for a week. Um, and there were some days in between here and there and I've been back for a few days. Um, but today I could not <laughs> ignore all of the reminders, um, gentle reminders from spirit to say tarot, 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 tarot. So there's something important about today. Um, at the time of this recording, it's like basically full moon, but even though tomorrow is the full moon in Virgo, we could talk a little bit about what that is. Um, and then, yeah, I guess I'll get into some other stuff and we'll do a reading. How about that? Like, Virgo is the sign of, like, health, service, assessment. Um, and Virgo is an earth sign. I mean, so this full moon, I would be asking myself questions like, or journaling on, where have I not given myself enough credit? Um, so it's like focusing on the nurturing voice, the self this, the, the self-talk voice, um, where have like we been in our own way um, in terms of getting where we need to be energetically, physically, um, accomplishments wise, you know, like what you're like striving for. I mean, so in that sense, it is about acceptance. It's about forgiveness. It's about healing things that are in your way. You know? Yeah. Because the full moon is all, all about sort of like that high octane sort of emotional drama of the full moon, things being brought to the surface. Let it just do its thing. Um, notice. And just sit with it, because that's also the Piscean time. It's like ending so soon. So I feel like, just get through this weekend. Aries will come, spring is coming, and the energy will shift again. But yeah, there is sort of like this... Sit with what you got in, in your pocket right now. Sort of vibe. So yeah, maybe this video was meant to find somebody if this is still resonating for you you want to watch the whole thing I, I'll do a reading now for the person who feels that who found themselves here <sighs> even though I know I, I don't have a, a lot of followers right now I have a few loyal followers so like hey y'all um, good to see you not see you good for you to see me <laughs> right now um, let's do a reading about whatever message wants to come through today for whomever and then you know what I'm going to do tonight as well right after this is I'm going to show you guys how to interview your decks I interview all of my decks it's not the first thing that I do with a deck I'll like have some fun with it and then I'll interview it just so that I can get more of like an intuitive sense of like oh what is this about like what What's in the cards and what, you know, what is its range? And once I understand its range and sort of I've taken time to look at the cards and read some of them. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to we're going to interview later. Coming up next, No Frills Oracle created by Redfish Tarot. Shout out to Redfish Tarot. This is look, No Frills. Oh, da -da -da. No Frills Oracle. I love it. Um, and I love the message of the, uh, by the way, this was on the bottom. I thought I should mention, be grateful. It was at the bottom of this deck. That is the vibe to get into right now. Just be grateful for what you have. Be grateful for the lessons. Be grateful for uh, all of it. Because it's showing you more of the world. It's showing you more about who it is that you are in the world, where your gifts are, where you could use help 
as in, you know, areas where we need help is sort of like how we find our our family. It's like how we find our, our, our friends and our family because they complete us in some way. We don't have to be everything. We don't have to be perfect at every single thing. So yeah, full moon Virgo. Allow yourself to be just as you are while simultaneously getting out of your own way so that you can go achieve the things that you want in life and the things that are meant for you. Uh, my friend Anna told me repeatedly on the retreat I was just at, uh, what you want wants you. It's so easy. What you want wants you. Um, what else can I say while I'm shuffling? I'm working with a new stone. It's this lapis lazuli stone. Are we going to focus? Are we going to focus? There it is. Oh. Known as the healer stone. You can look it up. That's what I got right now. All right, let's get into it. Luck is on your side, the new moon, Sagittarius. This is about taking risks. Um, putting yourself out there. Expect powerful change. Yep. A win-win outcome is forecast. The full moon in Libra. Yeah. Yeah. So, Virgo... Health service assessment. Service. Let's focus on the service side of this thing because I feel like the message that wants to come through is really saying um, don't just look at opportunities right now or at situations as like what can I get out of this but what can I offer? What can I offer uh, this person, this situation? How can I be of service? I feel like if we orient um, our actions toward service, I don't want to say exclusively, right? Like I believe in mutual beneficial, mutually beneficial agreements and bartering and whatever. Um, but this might be for somebody who just hasn't in a while thought about how am I contributing um, once we are, once we orient ourselves towards service while, you know, also taking care of our own needs, that is when we get lucky, right? Because things become a little bit more in alignment, there's balance, and then there's powerful change. What kind of change? I don't know. It's your life. <laughs> you can let me know. Uh, but I feel like this is this is just like bodes well f for harmony in all relationships, in all things, all 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 factors. When we include the part of like, what am I contributing? It might be that you're not valuing your contributions. Not that you're not contributing, but you're not seeing the value of your contributions in a situation, and therefore, it's you're not allowing it to carry the weight that it should um, or maybe it's just something about that not being totally acknowledged hmm I think it's saying take a risk um, because new moon in Sag is here hmm. this was like eclipse season this is this is like calling back toward eclipse season You know when the full moon in Libra is? Hmm. Let's see what's up next. Drop my pan. 
Well, we got another new moon. Got three new moons on the table. The next new moon is the new moon in Aries, I believe, April 1st. Ah, it's going to be a tricky one. It's going to be a tricky, tricky one. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Crescent Moon, the Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, King of Swords, Dead Center, Queen of Pentacles, scooching up by the King. We have the Three of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Page of Wands. Look at that progression. Um, there's a couple cycles closing out here and a lot of new beginnings. That's why there's so many new moons. So, I mean, yes, there's the idea of like investing into some sort of legacy. Like what will be your legacy? What are you going to be known for? I feel like that's a very Capricorn message. Um, but it's relevant not just to Capricorns. That's just that flavor. Um, it's, it's basically saying like you've achieved something and now you're sort of ready to expand further. So what direction are you going to go in? Um, I feel like once you acknowledge your, so going back to the message of like the acknowledgement of contributions or something or investment, um, once you can see how that has been successful, um, and I don't know if it's totally finished. I mean, the 10 is the finishing of a cycle. Maybe, maybe it's just about realizing when you've gone far enough in that particular investment or that particular contribution you're like i've put my time into this it turned out or maybe it didn't like but either way like i feel fulfilled in the decision to move on and start this new cycle okay it's almost yeah you're leaving something it's not necessarily on the table but like i'm just saying it that way like Something is sort of being swept aside for now or for however long so that you can take this other, this journey. This, there's this like, I mean, this is, I believe this is Sag energy, actually, the Three of Wands. Don't quote me on it, though. Just that this is that same energy of growth and expansion and like that newness, the new moon in Sag that's here in the recent past. Um, in the present, expecting powerful change. Um, that change here is showing up as the King of Swords. So this is either energy you're embodying or somebody in your life. But really, I'm just going to take it as you, the Watcher. Um, you've had a period of like building your self-confidence to the point that you, you know, Swords are the intellect and the nervous system, right? Like you have like this wisdom now and understanding this knowledge that's helping you prioritize areas of your life in a way that you haven't been able to before. So I'm really getting it's like this uh, streamlining effect of everything in its proper place. And you can see clearly now. The rain is gone. It's actually going to rain tomorrow here in Chicago. Uh, in the future... That's, um, this is in the row beneath the full moon Libra. A win-win outcome is forecast. We have the Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning. The Queen of Pentacles, which is creature comforts, the nurturing of the, the element Pentacle. So let's see how it's like, it's graduated now even further from the 7 to the 10. It's recycling, right, because we have the ace of pentacles we're going in a different direction now here in the future and nurturing something that feels really really good that has a lot of potential are you able to ground it into reality again going back to that earlier message if you look at this new opportunity as something that it has potential for you um of like what can you get out of it 
I feel like that's not a really balanced way to look at it. The full moon Libra asks us to consider our needs along with the needs of others. There's negotiation, there's discourse, there's balance. Well, I feel like some Gemini just creeped on in there <laughs> momentarily. Yeah, okay. Um, what else can I say? Um, I definitely see, um, a progression also in the wands. We have the three, the ten, to the page of wands. There's another cycle here being closed out as well in terms of desire, willpower, inspiration, passion. Something is graduated and it's being renewed. The page is, they don't make the same mistake twice. The page of wands is here. Remember when the page of wands was following me around everywhere? Or like for a while? So he's here again, showing up in the future position. Adventure. Oh, are you going to focus? Are you going to focus? The spirit of adventure is this page of wands. Okay, let's see. Are there any um, just advice from the universe for anybody watching? Final advice. Devil, the world, and the ghost. Eee! tower underneath okay were there well there's that change right there's there's you're we're liberating ourselves from the ghost stories we've been telling ourselves for who knows how long this is this has to do with the clarity of the king of swords okay um the devil yeah, is, is a liberating energy. I mean, really, it's about, like, what binds us, what we're tied to, what we're drawn to, our attachments, our ego. But in this case, I'm going to take the message that this is about freeing ourselves from attachments, attachments of ghost stories, things that maybe aren't true anymore, things that we tell ourselves to stay comfortably scared and just sort of not making any schmooze. You know what I mean? Um, and then we have the world. There's a humanitarian <laughs> crisis, right, happening in the world. I mean, today and always. I did a meditation today for peace, for, for world peace. Growing up, we, in school, we think of world peace as like, like a, I don't know, at least for me, like a thing that like models say, like Miss America models will say, like, yeah, of course we want world peace. But we live in a world that's also like keeping us scared from doing anything or really embracing the kind of change, the sudden, up, you know, the sudden change, powerful change that comes when we ask the questions like, how can I be of service? How can I, what can I do? If everyone asked that question at the same time, what could happen? Anyway, that's a tangent. Um, the message of the world is that there is the flavor of change here that's on the table is the kind that we don't ever go back to. It's a total paradigm shift. And in the threshold of the world, the ending of the world, the closure of it, and before this new beginning, 
we are in like the liminal space of connectedness to all things. And from here we can see nearly everything. Um, so this does go back to, again, that the third message from earlier of in this full moon, what's being stirred up is meant to be there for you to see, for you to see things more clearly. This is your information. This is your data points. Are you going to focus? So your information is your data points to know yourself better, to understand what you're here to do, what you're, what you're supposed to do, what do you want to do. Um, your desire is shifting here, I see. And the way that you're investing your time or your resources is also changing. Um, and then there's a, there's a lot of groundedness and stability in sort of the way we're thinking. Thinking clearly. We didn't get any cups this time. So that's, that's interesting, right? No cups, no water, anything. We need a little bit more of that sort of tenderness here while this is happening. Tenderness and compassion in all things. That's another message. Okay, y'all. It's good to be back. Um, yeah, subscribe if you haven't, um, I will think of a song to put underneath. If you want to get more into the vibe of the reading, you can go check out the music and, um, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.